how do you go from like being, you know, classically trained and, and technical to the umpteenth level yet also then like bring in, in that, you know, just, I don't know. I want to say whimsical, but that's, yeah, yeah. I say whimsical. That's, uh, that's not the right word for you, Nick. (laughs) Creativity. Yes. You know, to be classically, people say they're classically trained all the time. It's, it's kind of comical because culinary school is like an icebreaker. And it's all it is is a, a door opener to get you into a place where you can actually learn some stuff. Um, you know, they teach you, you know, the basics of knife cuts and stocks and sauces. And you learn your six mother sauces. And some people say there's five mother sauces and whatever the case may be. Um, but you learn these things and you're, you just scratch the surface on it. And then, you know, what, and when I was in culinary school, we had like international cuisine. So they would break up um, into segments and then you would have like Asian cuisine and then you would have like European cuisine and then you would have classic French and then you'd have all this, but dude, you're only in class for like five, six days. Like, it's not like you took like a whole semester on it. You know right. what I mean? <laughs> right. Like yeah. you, you weren't, you weren't learning Escoffier's, you know, uh, notebook from page to page. So yeah. that, that's the, that's the, the thing about culinary school and, and being classically trained is that it, it just, you just scratch the surface. You learn all your experience um, by getting the experience by working for, you know, a badass chef or learning on your own. Um, you know, personally myself, you know, I, I worked for a couple cool chefs or chefs. Uh, they weren't like uber famous, um, but they knew some stuff and you take a little piece from every place that you work and that's, and that turns you into yourself. I mean, that, that's who you are. Um, and myself, I mean, I've, I've learned a lot from reading and, um, doing research on things and, um, dude, my cookbook arsenal is ridiculous. Like I've got hundreds of cookbooks and I'm constantly just, you know, for, for, um, inspiration, I just rifle through them and say, Ooh, I like this and I'll change that and change the ingredients a little bit and make it my own. And that's basically what I do. Um, where I see something that I like, um, or I have flavor profiles that I know that go really well together. They just they just come out man. you just put it on a plate and it's hard to, to get the plate presentations the way you want them. Um, because sometimes like you can have all the components and the flavor profiles and everything tastes great, but it just doesn't look cool. And that's the problem. So you have to mess around with stuff. So you're dehydrating stuff and you're, um, you're, you're baking stuff and you're making twills and and doing stupid, crazy things and, um, emulsifications and gelays. And then you start getting really technical and stuff. And, um, and it gets really difficult because you have to duplicate that with people that don't know their ass from their elbow. So it's like, how do you, <laughs> how do you make, a, how, how do you make an elbow or a, how do you make a gelay or like, or like hot sauce caviar with, you know, with somebody that doesn't know how to fucking, you know, make a chicken stock. Like, yeah. so it's like you have to train everything and teach everybody everything. Um, so that's, that's another reason why it's so stressful in the restaurant industry because people don't know. Man.